Good morning, everybody. My name is Mark. This is Eugene Faith Center's Middle School Group. Welcome. Well, how's your week? How have you been feeling? Yeah. Bored? Stuck? Yeah. Frustrated? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Curtis. Excited? Really? Oh, yeah, because you've been eating too much candy. That makes sense. A little bit hyped up, crazy. Yeah, it's fun. Well, I'm so glad we get to be together this morning for a little time of connection. I know I've felt a lot of different emotions this week, and that's okay. That's part of being alive right now. But let's keep trying to be who God wants us to be to the best of our ability. I know Gabby's got something crafty for us to do. Let's go check it out. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Gabby's Craft Corner. Today, we're going to learn how to do a painting. What'd you say there? Yeah, I know you can't paint. I've seen your work. Well, good news for you. Neither can I. We're going to learn together. Today, I'm choosing to do a celestial painting. You can do the same with me, or you can go your own way. Whatever you want to do. If you don't have a paint palette like me, you can always use a paper plate. Or you can ask your parents' permission and you can use one of your ceramic dinner plates. But don't use your grandma's china. That might be upsetting. <laughs> My paint's pretty darn old. <laughs> Haven't used this one in a while. So it's pretty chunky, but that's okay. Just keep on painting. Oh, what'd you say? Gabby, that's gonna take you a long time to paint that whole thing. Yeah, I know. I'll edit it out. Wow, done already? Yep, I'm that fast. Also, you may be thinking, Gabby, my paper is all wrinkly because it was meant for the printer and not this project that you recommended. I know, me too, but that's okay. We're all a little imperfect. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna do the moon. Cause the moon, the moon reminds me of how small I am in this big universe. Doesn't have to be perfect. We're all a little imperfect. <laughs> What'd you say? Gabby, your black paint didn't fully dry. <laughs> I know. I'm gonna add a few craters. For that, I'm gonna use the other end of my brush, almost like a dull pencil. What'd you say? Gabby, you're an artist. So are you. Next, since my moon is done, I'm gonna add some other planets. Oh, that's amazing. Next, we're getting a little celestial here. I'm gonna add in some stars. Never know how to add in the stars? Well, I watched a few YouTube videos and I seen how they do it. Don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna try it out. And it might just get some paint on Curtis's floor. But we're gonna wipe that away and no one's gonna be the wiser. Then you're gonna flick it with your finger like this. Whoa. Whoa. Make sure all the paint is just right on the end. Wow, that's amazing. You're gonna need a lot of paint for this splatter. Because let me tell you what, it's really not gonna go how you expect it. <laughs> and that's okay. Oops. Life isn't as we expect it. <laughs> oh, what'd you say? Where's the sun? I'll show you where it is. Same color as the moon? I know. But it's all in my imagination. Like you said, get creative. This time, it's about bettering ourselves. Find your inner peace. And let's get crafty. Thanks for coming to Gabby's Craft Corner. Thank you so much for doing that for us, Gabby. I really appreciate all your hard work leading us in a game. Aren't you all glad that Gabby's in our lives? I know I sure am. Now, I need all of you artists out there. I'm thinking of Kate, Sarah Durling, Aiden, Luke, Thomas, Emma, Clara, Claire, Clara, Emma, all of you other artists. I want to see your best work this week. Make sure you email me, mark at faithcenter.net. Make sure you remember it's .net. Here's a painting that a friend of mine sent to me this past week. I love Jesus and I love mountains, so paintings don't really get much better than that for me personally. I would have paid him for it, but don't tell him. This morning's message is by faith, even when we're stuck. And we're reading out of Acts chapter 16. If you have your Bible, you can go there. Acts chapter 16. 
In the passage we're reading today, the group of Christians were on a mission, talking with people, sharing God's love with people, going around healing people, doing all kinds of great stuff. Two guys in particular, Paul and Silas, got in trouble with some local townsfolk. They got thrown in prison, beat up, and put in stocks, which is where your feet are stuck together and you just can't move at all. You can't roll over, can't stand up. Talk about being stuck. Acts chapter 16, verse 25. Let's read together. But about midnight that night, Paul and Silas were praying and singing songs of praise to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. And suddenly there came a great earthquake, so that the foundations of the prison house were shaken, and immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's chains were unfastened. Now what would you do if that happened? Heck yeah, me too. I'm gone. But Paul and Silas didn't do that. Roman law said that if the prisoners escaped, the jailer would be severely punished. So Paul and Silas stayed where they were. And when the, the jailer came and found them, he started talking with them and they actually got to share God's love with him. And they showed him God's love by not escaping. And that way he didn't get punished. It ended up that he took them to his house. He washed their bodies, cleaned up their wounds. And Paul and Silas encouraged him to start trusting Jesus with his life and for his life. Here's three things that you and I can do while we're stuck, just like Paul and Silas. Pray, praise, and have an open heart to welcome all people. There's a lot of different ways to pray. I made a whole list. You can pray in your heart. You can pray out loud. You can think about things and let God interrupt your thoughts. You can write out a prayer. You can simply be silent. Sometimes even a groaning inside or a, a crying can be a prayer. And waiting can be a prayer. Prayer is connecting with God. And we can connect with God wherever we are and in whatever we're doing. The second thing we can do, singing songs to God, praise. When we praise God and tell Him how much we love Him and invite Him into our lives, He becomes King in our heart. And I don't know about you, but I really need God to be King of my heart right now. Something our family does is turn on Jesus music and sing songs together, and it changes the way that our house feels. It's really amazing and really, really cool. I'm so glad that we can sing together. A really cool thing about this story is that prayer and praise made it possible for this third beautiful thing to happen, and that's the welcome that we see Paul and Silas extend to this jailer. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, the last thing I would want to do is be kind and st hang out with somebody who had just put me in prison. It's amazing, but prayer and praise gave them something. It's almost like they were so full of God's love after prayer and singing songs to God that they couldn't help but show this jailer how much God loved him, how much they loved him. That is so amazing. Now, welcoming all people doesn't mean that we can't have boundaries. Right now as I'm recording this outside, I love being outside first of all, but I've banned my kids from coming outside. They are stuck inside until I'm done recording this because they would take over this video. Some of you know how they would take over this video. I don't want that. So we can set boundaries, but having an open welcoming heart means that we're open to a new depth of relationship, a new depth of relationship with God, ourselves, and others. And that's what we see in this story. Paul and Silas could trust God with their future, no matter what happened next. They didn't know. Maybe they'd end up right back in jail if they hung out with the jailer. But what's so amazing about this story is he became their friend and their brother. And that is a beautiful thing that was prepared for by prayer and praise. I've always loved this story, and I'm so happy that I got to share it with you this week. I'm inspired to live a life that has prayer, praise, singing songs to God, and then opening up my heart to all people. Even if it's just my family, because I'm stuck with them in my house all the time. I'm looking for a new depth of relationship, and that's possible as we grow closer to the Lord. Let's do that together. Would you pray with me? Jesus, thank you so much 
that even though you chose to be stuck with us, you love it that way. What a powerful message. Help us, Lord, in this time where we're stuck to extend the same love and care that you showed us. Give us the patience we need, the grace we need. Help us to remember how much you care about us in this time. Thank you so much that you're with us. And everybody at Faith Center said, Amen. Well, I'm really glad we got to connect this week. You can reach out to me by commenting below, or you can email me, mark at faithcenter.net. And if you want to give me a call, you got to email me first so I can have your phone number. In any case, artists, make sure you're doing some drawings, doing some paintings. Share that with us, and I'll share it on the video next week. I love you. I know you all still love me. Let's go welcome somebody. God, with us, you are God.